Hey guys, welcome back to Sunflower Cottage Crochet. This is Sarah, again with another joining tutorial. Now this is the whip stitch tutorial. I will put a link in the description box below about the join as you go, the slip stitch join, and the single crochet join. So for the whip stitch join, you actually don't use your crochet hook. You're gonna use the yarn needle, darning needle, large eye, maybe not so blunt, <laughs> needle. Okay, and a length of yarn. And as I explained in my other videos, normally you would join with the main color or a matching color. In this case, I actually have a white edge and a blue edge to work with. Now if you made every one of these with your white edge, then you would use white to join. Either way, you want to use something that is going to match, but for today, I'm going to use this bright green so you can see, because I want you to see how it's done. So, I do not have a knot at the end of this, because we're going to weave it in, and that will be the securing on the starting end. And then when we're done, you weave in the opposite end. So, to join with a whip stitch, it's basically an invisible join. If you've ever sewn, first you want to put the wrong sides together. I mean, you could do right sides together and then flip it so that there's even less visibility. But for, again, the purpose of this video, I want you to see what I'm doing so and how it's going to look. Um, invisible or not. <laughs> so, in sewing, a whip stitch is usually just kind of done on the same side like so. But in crochet, especially when you're joining, you're going a little deeper into things. So here's our corners. You want to line up those chain spaces as best you can. And I like to go into the back loop only of the front one facing me and the front loop of the one in the back. And I'm just going to pull through most of this yarn till I've left a long enough tail to weave in later. Now, instead of coming back this way, because that would just be a standard sewing, I'm actually going to come back again to this side and go into those same loops I did before, as you can see. And I'm going to pull through again. So now in this case, you need to make sure that this loop is not catching on anything and just pull it. You don't want to pull it too tight because you don't want to like create a new gap. So the back loop of the square facing you and the front loop of the square facing away from you. Already you can see this is a pretty small stitch. And if it were done in a matching color, you wouldn't be seeing it. It's really that simple. You just always start on the same side. You just go right down the line. And you can join all four sides this way and then slip stitch your corners together or whip stitch your corners together. And with whip stitch joins, it's much like single crochet and slip stitch where you can either join as you go or join when you have enough for a row and then join the rows together or join so many at a time or wait till you have all your squares done, line them up and join them all at once. It's really, flexible in that way. Whereas join as you go is, well, it's join as you go because you have an unfinished granny. You're holding off that last round because it is your joining round. In this case, we've made, if you're doing a standard five round granny, you've made all five rounds and now you're stitching it together. Okay, we're getting to that chain space again, so 
you can just go in if you're joining up in corners and moving on to the next you would just put one in there all right so to show you if this was the same color as let's say this was white and this is white if I used white to join you wouldn't be seeing it you can also kind of pull some more to get it even tighter and smaller but I still wouldn't pull too tight because you don't want it to pull on these and make a big gap but as you can see it didn't do that too badly and it made these even smaller I can almost hide this green so this is the right side up this is the wrong side up now as you can see the wrong side really hides it if you didn't have a matching color you'd want to sew with the wrong sides facing you right sides together and then open it up this way so you couldn't see the join at all but then you won't be seeing well I guess you might still see these the point of it is to be able to still see these almost as if they're just together magically <laughs> Okay, I hope that this tutorial was helpful. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the little bell icon to be notified anytime we go live or upload a new video. And I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.